I'm going to show you guys something very interesting today. After today's video, there's a good chance you're going to return that GPU there if you bought it. That's the 4070 Ti. And look, I really don't want to be like just talking about the 4070 Ti, but this is a point that has to be proven. People have to understand what's going on, why Nvidia is giving us worse performance. In there, that's an Intel Arc GPU. That's $349, probably going to be cheaper soon. And that GPU, MSRP, was $849. So that's a huge price difference. That GPU has one big advantage over that one. The 4070 Ti has only 12 gigabytes of VRAM. The limit is not the first problem. The first problem is going to be the memory speed and the bandwidth. It's only 192 bits for the 4070 Ti, which is very, very limiting. That's like what a 3060 would have or something like that. It's not something you should find on a high-end GPU. The Intel Arc at $350 has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. That's the special edition, which is already pretty impressive. But the memory bus, it's 256 bits. That is a considerable difference. I showed you guys the other day how a 3090 beats the 4070 Ti when you max the VRAM. But look at this, this is staying very, very stable. I mean, it's still 30 frames per second, so it's not ideal. This isn't a usual scenario. I'm doing it at 4K, but it's to prove a point. You can say that's a 1440p GPU, but it's gonna run into this issue sooner or later as well. We're gonna put it to 4K. This is a Hogwarts, this is Ultra. This is gonna be with ray tracing. The 3090 was only like 30 frames per second, but it played smoothly. That's what I want you guys to keep an eye on. The 4070 Ti was a stuttering mess. It's supposed to be better than a 3090, right? Not really, not when you really start to max out that VRAM, and that's the primary issue. Feels like it's going at literally 10 frames per second. That is crazy. Of course, this is gonna be with Ultra, Ray Tracing Ultra, there's no DLSS. You're probably gonna be even more shocked when that GPU plays a little bit smoother. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. Let's check it out. Look at the settings I have here. This is gonna be at 4K and we're gonna have no type of you know resolution scaling on. Even when I turned on DLSS 3 on this guy, it still stuttered. So look at these graphics. That's 3840 by 2160. That's not even what this guy is supposed to be doing. This, this is like a 1440p GPU as well. But at 4K is when we can test the limits. See that everything on Ultra? And then we have ray tracing on. So if we go back to the game, you'll notice the frame rate isn't that high, but look, it's at least smooth. It's only 16 frames per second, but it's not stuttering. That's what I want you guys to pay attention to. It's not currently stuttering. And look at this. Look at the allocation of VRAM and the amount being used. The allocation is around 14,243. That's over 14 gigs of VRAM being allocated, and actual usage is almost 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Look at that, 11,906. That's the limit of this GPU. So this is actually allocating more than the limit. So first of all, that is a problem, the amount of VRAM, but then the memory bus is also an issue. Look, I can walk around, and yes, the frames per second is low, but look, it's not jumping around. You see it's smooth. The 4070 Ti was not. It would go from like 20 something frames per second, drop down to 10, it would stutter, it would be very, very choppy. This is not a trickery of the camera. This is actually how it looks like. It's the most, it feels like it's going at literally 10 frames per second. That is crazy. Of course, this is gonna be with Ultra, ray tracing Ultra, there's no DLSS. It's performing smoother because the 4070 Ti is 192 bit memory bus. It doesn't have the bandwidth to push all those graphical niceties through. Extraordinarily unplayable. You would have to, of course, not put it on Ultra. But the point is, it's a 4070 Ti. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, vip-cdkdeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate. And now let's go back to the video. And the 3090 was even smoother, even though it still had obviously low frames per second, because this is really pushing the GPU. But look at this, and look at that VRAM amount. 
over 12 gigs of VRAM being used. So this GPU is long dead, and this is a $350 GPU. Why can Intel do this at way less than half the cost and Nvidia can't? This is like pretty shocking. Look, you guys see, this is the, the highest settings you can get on Hogwarts. And you can't say the game is optimized or not because it's doing okay here and it did good with the 3090. It just does bad with the 4070 Ti because of a 192-bit memory bus. So if I bought this GPU, I'd be pretty upset. And if you're thinking you're not going to play 4K or you don't like ray tracing, guess what? High Textures does it as well. And I'm sure in some scenarios coming up in some games in 1440p, you're going to get to the point where you're going to have to lower your graphics because this GPU is going to be choppy. It's not about the brute force performance. Brute force, this GPU could beat a 3090 Ti in some cases as shown by benchmarks. But what we're talking about here is in that 192-bit memory bus. It's a hidden, really, really big weakness of this GPU. And look, this is Hogwarts at 4K on an Intel Arc. This is like incredible. Look, the frames are low at 16, but it's not dipping. It's like staying 14, 16. It's not stuttering like the 4070 Ti. In my opinion, that just shows you that 256 bits of memory at 16 gigabytes, way superior. If uh, Intel can do this on a GPU less than half the price, why can't they do this on the 4070 Ti? There are 4070 Ti's that cost three times as much as this. Look at the Asus Strix. That one is going to be a stuttering, choppy mess as well. It doesn't mean you're going to play at 4K with ray tracing and without any type of like super sampling, but it's to illustrate a point. You may have this issue in other GPUs. If a cheap GPU can do it, that one should be as well. There's no excuse for this. And that's why this GPU is definitely, no matter the price, not something you should be buying. Let's just see what happens if we turn on some type of uh, scaling. This is going to be Intel XESS, similar to DLSS. It just does it in a different way. Let's put it on balanced. Let's see how the performance stacks up. Remember, even with DLSS 3, the 4070 Ti was still stuttering over. You're still getting these drops, but kind of going over 60, 70 frames per second. So you can't use this as an excuse. Look at this. Look how smooth it is. Now we're over 30 frames per second. Remember, this is ray tracing at 4K. But look, it's not stuttering. You guys see this? And look at the, the VRAM. It's using pretty much almost 12 gigabytes of VRAM, over 12 and the allocation is way over 13. So you would need a 4080 to even compete with this. This is doing what a 4080 does, not what a 4070 Ti. Look at this. Game looks incredible on a $350 GPU. This is 4K. If I drop this down to 1440p, there's a good chance this is even a better experience for the price than you're paying for this. So I hope this illustrates the point. It ran smoothly here and on the 3090. So the game has nothing to do with it. It's the GPU that's a limitation. So now we're going to do the same thing in Cyberpunk. Here, we're going to set it to 4K, 3840 by 2160. And then the graphics, let's go to Ray Tracing Ultra. And let's turn now down any type of upsampling. So no AMD super resolution. Um, Intel doesn't have something specific uh, you know, for this game. So here, no frame generation, no DLSS. It's going to be on Ray Tracing Ultra. 4K, let's see how this does. Remember, the 4070 Ti got absolutely crushed at this resolution and with these settings. The 3090 was actually smooth, even though it was low FPS, like you would expect. The 3090 was actually pretty smooth. Um, and then the 4070 Ti was just a stuttering mess. Even with the LSS3, the VRAM limitation is just terrible. Frames per second wise, you're getting, you know, in the 30s, dipping down to 20. But as you can see, it's very, very choppy, not very playable at all. The frames per second performance feels worse than it actually is. It just it just feels like it's much choppier. Look at that VRAM, though. It's almost running up against that limit, and I'm sure now that 192-bit memory bus, this is when it's really starting to tax it. So this is Cyberpunk now. As you can see, only 10 FPS, but that's just because this is underpowered for what this is. My point here is... The 4070 Ti was just stuttering, different than having low frame rates. It was stuttering because of the, the memory limitation. Here, if we walk around, the frames are really low at 11, but 
you can see it's still kind of like smooth in a way where it's not stuttering or doing something that's like really a result of the VRAM. And you can see it's allocating almost 13 gigs of VRAM and it's using almost 12 gigs. So this is pushing the limits of the 4070 Ti. If this was a more powerful GPU, if this had the raw power of the 4070 Ti, and it still had the VRAM, it had the 16 gigabytes of VRAM with that 256 memory bus um, at the minimum, this would be performing considerably better. You would have um, some, uh, you know, playable frame rates. So let's see if we actually turn on some type of, um, you know, an, an upscaler. Let's put this on balanced and let's see what happens. And let's see if this would be playable. All right, look at that. 24 frames per second, not really like playable for a fun experience, but look how smooth it is. Remember the 4070 Ti at 4K, even with DLSS 3, it was showing some issues, even though it, it limits the VRAM more, it's still not really all that perfect, but this is considerably better. Obviously you wouldn't play this game with this GPU at these settings, if you turn it down to 1440p and maybe turn ray tracing down to like medium or low, you could actually have a pretty playable experience. But look how smooth it is. This just needs more power. It's not a limit on anything that this GPU has. Somebody buying this doesn't expect to play this at 4K maxed out. But somebody buying this should be able to play 4K pretty much almost maxed out, not like a 4090, but at least not a stuttering mess. Look how smooth this is. Much, much better. So I hope that shows you guys the limitations of this is very, very serious. And you can say 4K, it's not what it's meant for, but that's not the point. That's just showing the limits of this GPU. This Intel Arc is not meant for 4K either, but it can do it smoother because the VRAM is better on this than on that, which means that for a third or half the price, this GPU is able to do it. That's really inexcusable for the 4070 Ti. And remember to subscribe if you like good journalistic content like this. Thank you guys. See you guys on the next video.